All right, Shalom, Makim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yah, Bashem, Ashai, Bashem, Kakwadash, the honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Peace and blessing to you, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity, Shabbat Kanak. And I want to do a quick video and speak about how this world cannot comprehend the truth. You know, because we go out and we teach, you know, we prophesy uh, things to come. You know, we, we read out of the Bible, the same Bible that, you know, America was established, so to speak, on the same Bible that these churches uh, and these religious people read. You know, the same Bible that that's uh, throughout the whole planet Earth, the King James. And we read the Bible, yet when we read it, it seems like, you know, we're reading out of a totally different book. It's because we have the proper understanding of the scriptures. In this world, they do not have the proper understanding. They are on the vibration of the devil, basically. You know, and the devil took, took the Bible and changed, you know, the meaning of certain things. Okay, and we're, we're here to, uh, you know, basically clean up his mess. Tell you that this means this, that means that. Yet when we do those things, only a small select group of people can understand these things or comprehend these things. So let me, I want to go into this definition, comprehend. I have the definition in the Edamon online, and then I'm just going to go to a regular dictionary. And then I'm just going to hit a couple of scriptures. You know, I'm not going to make the video long, you know, so uh, without further ado. So I have the word comprehend in the Edamon online. It means it's from the mid-century 1400 uh, to understand take into the mind grasp by understanding to take in include from latin comprehendere to take together to unite include seize so basically the word comprehend means to understand or to be able to take into the mind right so let me go to proverbs the first thing when i start reading this definition is the book of Proverbs because really to, in order to understand wisdom okay you actually have to be wise all right and the Heavenly Father has to open up your mind to be able to understand these things uh, and that's why uh, the word education means to draw without so when the elect hear this word they're able to understand this word and increase in learning so let me bring out this uh, scripture real quick Proverbs 1 and 2, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, basically to comprehend, okay? That basically means to comprehend, to be able to comprehend wisdom and instruction, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man, knowledge, and discretion. A wise man will hear... So in order for you to actually get all these things, you have to be wise. And those who hear this truth and then start to implement the, the, you know, the practices of the Bible, basically the law, statute, commandments, all the things that were written in the scriptures, they are considered wise. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. So only a wise man will understand these words, okay? And with that, that wise man will start to increase his learning. A man of understanding, so a man of comprehension, shall attain unto wise counsels. You start, you're going to start to listen to wise counsels out of the scriptures, okay, from, from uh, wise men. And then through, through that wisdom and knowledge, you're going you're gonna to gather more wisdom and knowledge. And you're going to be able to do, you know, the same things uh, likewise. You're going to be able to teach you're going to be able to uh, give wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Because when we read out of the scriptures, OK, it's like we're reading, uh, you know, Proverbs and, and we're reading uh, and uh, what's it called? Dark sayings to where the people can't quite understand what we're speaking about. They, they might be able to stand, understand certain points. But, you know, they're not able to fully comprehend, you know, what the scriptures are speaking about. Okay. 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So basically, if somebody can't understand this truth, all right, it's because they don't have the fear of the Lord. Ultimately, that fear of the Lord was not placed inside of them. But fools despise wisdom and instruction because here it is. And, and basically, I'm speaking to, you know, really our people. You know, because they're the only ones who are able to understand this word. OK, yet the Heavenly Father, he has closed their ears. You know, this is Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? So Yahweh Shai, when he was speaking to the people, he spoke to the people in parables, basically in dark sayings and proverbs to where you had to be in the know to understand, you know, what those things meant. Or you even have to have a certain level of wisdom to be able to interpret those things. OK. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you. OK, this is speaking to the elect. He was speaking to his disciples. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, basically the breakdowns, the understanding of the Bible. But to them, it is not given. Who is it speaking about? It's speaking about two thirds of our people, which that, you know, uh, that that wisdom and knowledge has only been given to a small group of people on the planet Earth. You know, the elect. And the elect are wise. They're already wise. The Lord created the elect to already be wise. Yet their their you know their frequency was turned down. You know to be able they they didn't quite understand. You know or they weren't introduced to the truth yet. But yet but once they hear the truth, they're able to increase learning. Like it tells us in Proverbs. Let me go back into Proverbs four. Because, you know, you have many of our people that will actually open up the Bible and, you know, and try and read the Bible, but they have a, a misguided interpretation. Wisdom, uh, Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing. So wisdom, that's the first thing that you should be trying to obtain. Okay. That's your primary, uh, uh, you know, goal here on the planet Earth right now is to, to obtain wisdom, but not just any wisdom. The correct wisdom out of the Bible. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So with all thy getting, you have to be able to comprehend these things. And the elect will be the only ones to be able to comprehend this truth. Okay? Because the Lord, he's put it inside their spirits to be able to comprehend this truth. Okay? So let me, um, I want to get another scripture. Give me one second. Let me just bring this out in the book of Acts. One second. I want to say. Before I do that, let me bring out this scripture. In uh, Isaiah, because the Heavenly Father literally has to open up your mind to be able to understand these words. That's why when we read these words, you have people that will actually scoff against this. And this is the highest level of knowledge on the planet Earth. You know what? Um, before I do that, let me go to John 14, actually. And we'll, we'll hit all those other scriptures that I, was, that I spoke about, you know, if the Spirit, if the spirit will. Uh, John 14, and we will start at uh, 15. This is John 14 and 15. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, who the world ignorant calls Christ. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Now, that right there goes directly over people's heads. Because you have, especially a lot of our people, let's just stick, let's just stick with our people, okay? Because Esau, the devil, and the other nations, they were never, you know, given this truth. Or they were never, you know, opened up to receive this truth. A door was never opened up to them to receive this truth. 
when he speaks about those Gentiles, the, those Gentiles were Israelites that were living in, that were living as Gentiles, that were living as the other nations. Basically, you know, they didn't know that they were Israelites. You know, they fell from their customs of being an Israelite. Okay, so this word, so this uh, verse, excuse me, John 14 and 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Here it is. You have our people that speak about they love God. They love Jesus. Yet they break every single commandment in the Bible. And then when we open up the scriptures and tell them that they have to keep the commandments, what do they do? They buck up against it. They literally buck up against everlasting life. Okay. And I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter and he that he may abide with you forever. Now, <laughs> you have vocab, vocab, no class Malone totally breaking down this scripture the wrong way. Uh, first, he said that the comforter uh, is, a, is, 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 is the Lord. And then he said that it's an actual person. He has no understanding. He, he can't comprehend this truth. That's why he's going around. Uh, you know, to the different camps of Great Millstone, even outside of Great Millstone, trying to trying to debate the doctrine is because he cannot understand it. It was not given unto him. And it's going to tell you here, tell you in verse 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. So right then and there, we don't speak uh, to the world in order for them to receive this truth. Because it tells us right here that. The world cannot receive the truth. Okay? We are only speaking to the world of the elect. You know, there, uh, there's worlds within inside worlds. Okay? Because even within Israel, there's worlds within Israel. Okay? Basically, uh, um, you know, our arrangement, a cosmos, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. So they don't know the Lord. They don't know the spirit. They don't know the comforter. When they open up the scriptures, because the comforter is the truth, okay? It comes to you. It's the actual spirit that comes to you, you know, uh, when you, in the book. You know, the book is a, is a, a living being, so, rather. So that's, that's the comforter. So when people open up the Bible, when our people, you black, Hispanic, open up the Bible, you can't, you can't see it. You, you 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 don't see it because it was not it was not uh, given unto you to re uh, to receive, because it seeth him not neither know of him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall and shall be in you, see that shall, and shall be in you. So the Lord he put his spirit upon us, okay, to be able to understand these things. While the world they're not they're not able to understand these things. They're not able to comprehend these things or grasp the grasp these things. Which makes them unwise. Okay. Because in Proverbs it tells us. A wise man will increase learning. So. Basically you know. If you can't understand this truth. Because you're not wise. You you don't know how to basically understand things. Okay. We can tell you of things that are going to happen. And you can literally see them. But you're blinded. Why? Uh, this is Isaiah. 6 and 9 and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and see ye indeed but perceive not okay so basically you you will be able to hear these these uh these words but you won't be able to understand these words you won't be able to comprehend these words okay you won't be able to perceive these words which all those all you know all those words are pretty much they mean the same thing they're synonyms uh, make the heart of this people fat, uh, meaning their mind, the heart, it, it goes into the word, the Hebrew word, lab, which means the mind. Make the heart of this people fat, so basically make the, the mind of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. So the Lord, he, in order for his prophecy to be fulfilled, what did he do? He has an angel that literally blocks our people's um, mind from comprehending the words out of the Bible. Because even I, I remember younger, literally trying to open up the Bible and I, I couldn't understand anything and I would get frustrated. I was like, man, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. I'll try to read. And I remember reading Israel 
I remember reading the law. Yet, if the Heavenly Father does not put that spirit, his spirit upon you, if the Holy Spirit does not come and sup with you, you will not understand these words. You will get tripped up. Well, it tells you that in, um, what, what scripture is that? I believe it's in Matthews. Give me a second. It's escaping me right now. But I know it's, it's, it's from Psalms. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can search it up. Yep, yep. This is Romans. Yes, in Romans. Romans uh, 11 and 7. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he, which he seeketh for. Because Is, Israel is seeking for the truth. That's why you have the conscious community that are, you know, that, that are infatuated with basically all these different doctrines to try to find out the truth. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Okay, we can read this and it will still go over people's heads. Okay, the only the elect will under, be able to understand this truth. This is not for everybody. Okay, Israel as a whole, they want the truth. They want to know, you know, they, they are, uh, you know, a spiritual people. They have a zeal, uh, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, you know, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. And that's, uh, we were just reading that in Isaiah, the, the sixth chapter. So our people actually have a spirit of slumber on them. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. Okay. And David said, and this is in Psalm 69. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs always. So basically this, this was a prayer of David, you know, putting a curse on two thirds of Israel. Basically, when you come to the table, when you come, um, you know, to, to study and to read. The, the Bible, you know, you want to get closer to, to the most high, basically. You know, the Bible is basically a snare unto you, a trap, a stumbling block. Because you read certain these things, and you have a lot of our people that will get offended at certain things that they read. And, oh, no, nah, I don't deal with the Bible. Or they'll only, uh, you know, deal with certain things that they seem fit, or they seem, you know, uh, in their heart to be, you know, uh, pleasing to them and then the other things they throw out and then it'll take a little bit of this it'll take a little bit of that and it'll create their own doctrine okay or they'll just damn near skip over certain things you know or I'll only read the new testament only i'm only the old testament you know I'll only read this I'll only read that or i don't believe in this you know so basically this book is is really if the spirit if the holy spirit the, the comforter is not dealing with you Okay, uh, it's really a snare unto you, you know, a trap. Okay, and, and not a book of, you know, everlasting life and knowledge and wisdom. I wanted to get, uh, a scripture. Let me bring out, because I want to get that scripture in, in math, in Acts. Let me just search it real quick. I believe there was Acts the eighth chapter, but I could have just skimmed over it. Um, give me a second. I'm just looking it up. Okay. Yeah, I was I was in the book. I 
it's 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 the verse is thirty. I, I thought it was twenty. So yeah, let me uh let me go to that. It's Acts eight and let me see if I can start up a little bit more, but it might just be Yep, let me just read up a little bit. Yep, Acts eight and twenty seven and he arose and went. This is uh speaking about Philip. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. Now, this man of Ethiopia, he, uh, you know, lived in Ethiopia, yet he was an Israelite because according to the law, uh, you know, the Israelites will have to come to Jerusalem three times a year to worship for certain high holy days. Okay, so this man, he was being called an Ethiopian, yet he was actually an Israelite. Okay, so he was actually reading, you know, some scriptures. Uh, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. So he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Because our people have what? They have a, they have a zeal. Okay, then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself unto the chariot, unto this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understand thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? So he was being spiritual. Unlike, you know, our people, when you ask them that question, they'll, you know, they might damn their curse you out. Or they might try to teach you and they totally butcher and breaking down the scriptures the wrong the wrong way. So this man, he was he was spiritual. He said, how can I accept some man guide me? So he knew that you have to have a teacher. And the Lord, he set up teachers. And and desired Philip, Philip that he should that he would come unto. unto I'm sorry. And he said, I'm going to read that again. Verse 31. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip. That he will come up and sit with him. So basically, Philip start, you know, uh, he start he start teaching him out, out of the scriptures. And Philip was what? He was part of the twelve. I, I want to go to another scripture. Give me a second. Isaiah 30 and 20, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall the, not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. So your eyes are beholding your teachers right now. Okay, the men of great millstone that are teaching you this truth, starting with our apostles and elders. Okay, all the way down. And you, you, have, to, you have to fall into that, that line. And you can't be proud. You have to be as a that Ethiop, Ethiopian eunuch, that Israelite foreigner. Okay, how how can I at least a, a man guide me? So you have to know that you have to be guided. You know, uh, that's why the Lord he called he called his his men pa pastors. Okay, to do what to guide the sheep, uh, and to you know uh, goodly ground goodly uh, you know fields, so they can eat. Basically, you know. Being a, a shepherd, you know, feed it, feed in the flock, and that's what we do. Uh, I believe there was one more scripture that I wanted to get out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this is I'm gonna go to Matthew's 11, and we'll just uh, end it off there. Matthew's 11 and 25. And at that time, Yahweh shall answer and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent. Hid what things? The mysteries. Okay, this truth. The Lord, the Lord literally hid them. And hath revealed them unto babes. So he has revealed them unto babes. Who are the babes? Well, your, your, uh, your teachers. Okay. Because we didn't go to no... Uh, 
no so-called, you know, seminary school or college to understand the scriptures. We we were brought up uh, as babes, under, you know, coming to this thing, you know, uh, being, you know, uh, uh, delivered that sincere milk, you know. So, you know, that was basically it. You know, the world cannot comprehend the truth. That's the title of the video. I pray that, you know, brothers uh, were edified with the lesson. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to go uh, goes to Yahweh Shemal Shai. Until next.